Welcome back to the Upper Gardner Channel. My name is Megan. Today, I just gotta get stuff done before Freya's birthday meet up at the lake. I'm gonna try and get some muffins made, get some chores done before I have to go pick up the rest of the stuff. And so I figured I could just maybe, you know, have you come with me and I can actually accomplish something. Hey, editing you here. I decided to interrupt the video here and let you know I was going to talk about something that is very important and very personal to me. I hope you stay and listen and uh, you know, enjoy this video. I do have some fear sharing this with you. Not because I think there will be any negativity, but because I feel a lot of shame for what I've gone through and am going through. Shame I put on myself. Shame because of the ways others treated me. I think it's important to start from the beginning where I think this all began. When I was seven, as kids do, I was playing where I shouldn't have been. I was playing in an engine hoist in a tree in the backyard and I released the chain. The empty hook bounced off my skull. The only evidence was a tiny cut on my scalp and the blood that I could not see. I ran to my mom crying and in tears. I remember telling her what happened, but I'm not sure how clear I was between the sobbing and the pain. So as moms do, she went on to bandage it, clean me up, make sure I was okay. There must not have been any indication that I had injured my brain. Otherwise, my mom would have taken me to the hospital. She knew what to look for. And then I thought nothing of it for the next 25 years, other than the little scar that was left. Six, I only make six muffins. Across those years, I've been diagnosed with a host of incurable, but not fatal, oftentimes quite painful medical issues. Struggling to do anything before it came of crisis. About five years ago, I was diagnosed with narcolepsy. Through testing, my doctor felt that the accident all those years ago was the cause. I had always joked I had narcolepsy. Sleep was always so easy, too easy, but the issues went deeper. For my entire life, I've yelled, pleaded, and said terrible things to myself for not being able to do the things that everybody else seemed to be able to do until I had no other choice. Dishes, laundry, bills, kids, birthday parties, sometimes eating, going to the bathroom. Being on time has never been a skill I have possessed. And I think I finally have a name for it. I would like to make sure it's clear that I have not been diagnosed. I have not had any testing yet to verify this. It's called executive function disorder. Now, of course, I don't know if this is really what it is. And some have called it more accurately intention deficit disorder. I have the knowledge, I have the skills, I do also have the intention. For some reason, there's a break in the t connection to make that happen. I cannot make the things happen until it smacks me in the face. And it takes all of my energy to try to do the things. That doesn't mean I can't do these things. And it doesn't mean I'm lazy. I do want to make it clear I am still plenty lazy, but I measure it in a different way. I try to measure whether I'm being lazy by how much guilt I'm feeling. Do I feel guilty? Am I actually trying to do the thing or figuring out a way to get the thing done? Even if it looks like I'm just scrolling through the internet, then I'm having an executive function issue. How do they look, Freya? Do they look good? Yes. All right, you gotta cool down? Yeah. Yay, blueberry muffins! Two things out of my cupboard this week. Can you excuse me, monkey? Yep. Okay, and while those are cooling, I'm gonna bring them outside for a quick little, uh, John, if you could just give me like five minutes. I only have a few minutes, so I just wanted to show you what's going on with the garden. It's a bit wild, but, um, I don't, I don't hate it, and I 
think I told you some incorrect information the last garden tour. I have determinants and indeterminates, I think. Anyways, let me just show you. Those are not cherry tomatoes, not at all. But they're not getting super high, which is fine because I was only able to get the pig panel. I really just, they're already so high that I just needed a little bit extra. I have some tomatoes growing um, really tall. These are just uh, hanging out. Let me show you some fruit. Hoping to see some of these starting to blush, but they're getting close. You can see they're a lot smoother than they used to be and the darker green is kind of receding to the top and I'm also you know like could have brushed my hair before I started recording um, you know maybe got dressed anyways here's the plan Still taking out these lupines because they still haven't like traveled anywhere. I got a bell pepper. I don't think I got any bell peppers last year. I think this one is kind of cool though. Can't see any of that. Hold on. More jalapenos. But, oh my goodness. Look at that one. Got Quite a few just chilling. Just kind of move the plant a little bit here without destroying it. I guess what I'm saying here is that disability isn't always visible and not everybody considers them disabilities. Every day is a struggle. Other than the dirty dishes, you might not be able to tell. These videos are becoming a tool I can use to help navigate other ways to get the non-crisis tasks completed. I do need to restart medical care, but I'm scared. Because I have always hid and pretended I was okay and always seemed so normal. Nobody believed that I really had a problem. They told me, you're just not trying hard enough. Sure, you're doing the things that are supposed to help, but they're not. Oh well. So I learned to continue to hide and feel shame. But I'm done. I'm done pretending I'm okay or believing I'm a moral failure. I'll still pretend I'm okay, but I'll have more moments of honesty. I want to share my struggles so others know that they aren't alone. I don't want anyone to feel shame or fear. I want you to find a doctor that gives a damn. I want us to create tools that help you with this condition. Medication is a requirement to help make that connection, but you must discuss it with a medical professional. I intend to follow my own advice and get a diagnosis. I intend to share more on how I am affected personally. With all of that said, if any of that made sense, I hope you decide to join me as I hop from one crisis to the next, finding myself, creating tools to manage, creating content to share, and if I can, making the earth better than it was yesterday. Maybe they'll get some water now. What do you think? Think it'll be enough? I'm probably gonna have to water them, aren't I? I wanna thank you for joining me here on the Uber Gardener channel today. Please let me know what you think. All right, here goes nothing. Whoa, whoa, I can do this. Upload, upload, upload. Done. <laughs>